Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Aiman binti Rosli and my student ID is 2020850178. Today, I want to do a presentation about my mobile apps which is I create a mobile apps named U Event Plan. Okay, this app is for university which is UITM Puncak Perdana. The name Event Plan is because if any program that held in UITM Puncak Perdana that we need to know and need to plan, also we want to register, we can use this app. Okay, this app is for students uh, or staff who can view variety of events in one app that they don't need to share or view event uh, advertising on WhatsApp anymore. For instance, this semester, there are a lot of events that handled by the association from the UITM Puchak Perdana like ICONS, AIMS, IMSA, SMF, Genlist and IREC. Uh, but sometimes, a student are miss the event and miss the due date of the event due to uh, a lot of information that share in a group WhatsApp. And the objective of this app is to facilitate students and staff to view and register event or program easily. Second objective is student will not miss any programs. Uh, third is student can receive a lot of certificates and knowledge when they join the events. Then we have the problem statement which is why I create this app is because Firstly, students are spamming information about programs through WhatsApp group which lead to inconvenience of some of the members in the groups. And second is students miss the program or they forgot about the program which they need to plan uh, and remember what they are registered event for. Then third is students are not actively joining any event during their studies. This is why I, as a student, see this problem that will lead to inactive of student in join any program, either it's a online program or face-to-face -face program. Sometimes there are a lot of interesting events, but students are not aware of the information that spread in the WhatsApp group. So I create a you plan a you event plan to facilitate a students' life. Okay, now here I show you. Okay, I will continue with the apps, which is you event plan. Okay, now what you can see here is uh, the login and sign up screen where you can enter your email and also password and the data of your sign in will be transferred to real time database. And you also uh, can sign in with, with Google. Um, usually people are using Google to sign in so I will use Google okay as you can see now uh, this is the first home which is home one that I create uh, it is UITM event event plan uh, I also wrote let's join us engage in learning activities so you can grow in your expertise Okay, here I put a um, uh, logo of your ITM and also you can input uh, insert your username which can be transferred to uh, main home. That I try first and tick, uh, and click let's explore and it will come out to uh, main home which is hello nor I mind. Okay, here in the main home, we uh, I have a uh, site menu, profile, search, and also categories. But all of this is uh, not functional, and we uh, and I have a new event which is here. I have three event, and um, all of these event can uh, are clickable, so you can click any of these. Uh, I will give example to you which is uh, I choose webinar, know your malware, malware, a beginner guide to stay safe from attacks. Okay, here as you can see, uh, we have a, a site uh, to go back to the home page button uh, at the on top of the screen and we have title, uh, image and also the description. Here is uh, the event description screen 
and if you are interested to if users are interested to register you can uh, they can click register okay and it will go straightly to the another screen which is registration screen uh, this is the screen where uh, users need to fill in all the details to join the event and if one of the details are not complete it will be a warning or error for example for example okay okay here are the example please enter full name so you uh, users need to enter the full name of the um details okay i fill in first okay okay uh for a student id uh, we are using number uh, i am using number which is two zero two zero eight five zero one seven eight and i see also we are using number zero 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 two zero eight one zero one four two 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 six okay and the program will be I am two four nine. Okay, the telephone number we are also using uh numbers input. Just fill in and also the emails. So I use the email that I already have here and event name is okay to be a short event name as long as uh the admin knows that which event that users are um and registered then we can click submit okay after we are click submit the info all the information uh will be uh in the screen of information uh which is uh, the users can check if the um any uh, mistakes that happen okay if the users want to see more event, they can go to back to home or if they want to log out, uh, they can click log out and automatically will close the app. So, I will give the example to back to home, click back to home and it will automatically will be in the main home. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.